Let's face it, television doesn't have a great track record when it comes to shows about video games. There have been some guilty pleasures, like Games Master in the UK or The Zone in Australia, but all too often they just feel hollow and forced. And let's not even get started on all those awful YouTube hosts. Are you serious? It seems really difficult to find good hosts with a genuine love of gaming culture, but that's what made Consolvania so special. Its weird mix of Scottish humour, clever writing and guerrilla editing techniques helped to gain a loyal following online, to the point where even television executives sat up and took notice. So consider today's episode a love letter to Rav, Ryan and the rest of the Consolvania crew. The first season of Consolvania went online in 2004. Hosted by Rab Florence and Ryan McLeod, it offered audiences a completely fresh type of video game media. People then weren't offered the same volume of video media that we enjoy through the internet today. As such, Consolvania was mostly shared through HTTP downloads, BitTorrent and shared networks. In fact, neither Rab nor Ryan even had broadband when they filmed the first episode and they had to mail a hard copy to their friends instead. Appropriately, it felt like the natural evolution of a kid copying an audio tape for his friends. Word of mouth spread, and Consolvania became an underground sensation in online gaming circles. That's one! Oh, Jesus Christ! Trousers are down, boys! Trousers are down! I see. The structure of the show was extremely loose at the start with Rab and Ryan themselves admitting that they didn't really understand what they wanted the show to be until the second season. One look at the description on the page for season one will show you how self-aware they were. With the show being self-funded, equipment was hired and episodes were released sporadically. They were also of very different lengths, ranging from 30 minutes all the way up to a full hour. It didn't matter though. If anything, this amateur atmosphere helped the show feel more honest. In an era of corporate sponsored websites and magazines, this was extremely refreshing. The people behind Consylvania didn't hide their disdain for the majority of their competition and their own desires to go against the grain. In an interview with the British magazine Games TM, Rab himself stated plainly, Let's be honest. It would be ridiculous if we were on some kind of crusade to do better games TV than what's already out there, because it's all pish. It's pointless. It would be like trying to be funnier than Justin Lee Collins. The show hit its stride in season two, with episode releases becoming regular and settling in length to be basically half an hour each. Reviews came in bunches, sometimes good, sometimes scathing, always blunt. The crew also indulged in skits and jokes that really brought the Glasgow out of everyone. There were other members of the crew, like Kenny, who started getting more screen time. Kenny, Kenny, I'm still playing World of Warcraft. Have you got any tips for me? Aye, here's a tip for you. Don't plan anything good for your life because you'll be pregnant by 14, homeless by 16, addicted to heroin by 18, and by 20 you'll be fucking dead. There were also recurring characters that kept popping up, like Legend, self-professed king of Xbox Live. My personal favourite in-joke was any reference to Overblood, a game that the Consolvania guys had a serious grudge against. Slashed. <laughs> Slashed. Fat prick? No. <laughs> Blood? Blood. Overblood. As I said earlier, Consulvania did so well that BBC Scotland actually commissioned the team to create a similar show for their channel. Named Video Guided, it received a couple of orders through 2005 and 2006. Now this show couldn't go quite as far as the online only Consulvania episodes, but it retained the spirit of the show, which is what the BBC wanted in the first place. Video Guided gained its own following through its dark Scottish humour and its coverage of games that would otherwise be virtually unknown in the region. If you ever want to be sold on a game, go no further than the Video Guide and Review of God Hand, which praises the game and crushes other critics in equal measures. The problem with God Hand is that it's just a game about punching people. Excuse me! <laughs> 
The genius of God Hand <laughs> is that it's just a game about punching people. Consolvania made it to season four, kind of. Season three saw experimentation with the structure of the episodes again, and season four focused on short segments rather than the full episodes audiences were accustomed to. In the end, the crew decided to finish Consolvania on their own terms. This was announced in their last episode during an unexpectedly moving discussion about balancing their love of games with the direction the show had taken. The boys did not want to become just another cruel pair of reviewers that were expected to rip into games every episode. There is an audience for this particular type of review, as the trends on YouTube clearly demonstrate. For a show that was founded to bring out a love of games, however, it ran against the original intentions of the hosts and crew. There is nothing that signifies their genuine love for gaming better than the decision to finish the show in this manner. Unfortunately, it's unlikely we're ever going to see a Consolvania reunion. Creative differences between key members of the team have made sure of that. However, Consolvania still remains one of the key turning points in gaming media. It rejuvenated a stale media format, brought in substantial numbers of new players, but most importantly, it treated the gaming medium with the care and respect that it deserved. Kieran Gillen wrote a wonderful piece on the end of Consolvania for Rock Paper Shotgun that summed it up nicely. Consolvania said fuck it. Their motivation was always about trying to express their love for games, not their disappointment. They never wanted to be reviewers or critics, but had found themselves accidentally in that position. They didn't like it. They decided to stop. You can always stop. Being forced to stop is sad. Choosing to stop? is beautiful. Consolvania were beautiful. And while I'll miss them, I wouldn't want to change their mind. Me neither, Kieran. Me neither. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of The Game Room. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter. And now I'm going to leave you with The Game Room Quote of the Week.